Hi, my name is Pastor Tom Stone, and I pastor two churches in Reading, Pennsylvania. I want to talk to you for a minute about ministering to people while social distancing. Jesus promised us, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. When this pandemic hit, a lot of things changed in our churches. We had to cancel a number of evangelistic events. Then the church service changed. The first week, half of our people stayed home. The next week, we moved to a live streaming service. Then a number of people in one of our churches contracted COVID-19, and we went to a pre-recorded service. Thank God for our volunteer lay pastor, James Devlon. He's a long-standing YouTube content creator. He hooked us up with lights, cameras, software, so we were able to have an online church service. But it was so stressful to me. I'm not one for change, especially so much, so quickly. In it all, I still wanted to minister to groups of people. I wanted to let my light shine. So I was praying for opportunities to evangelize. Lord, how can I reach people for Christ while sheltering in place? It struck me. I can reach people personally online. So, following in Pastor James's footsteps, I dragged out an old webcam from my technology box, downloaded some free software, hung up a bed sheet behind me, and started recording and uploading to YouTube. Just one video per week. And it worked! Finally, I spent about $40 at Home Depot buying some light sockets to upgrade my lighting. I stuck them in some cardboard boxes. I upgraded my background, which is just my basement, which I prefer to call my man cave. And now I've just uploaded my sixth video. Here is something that's abundantly clear to me right now. People right now are hungry to know the truth. We have a powerful message of hope and God will work through anyone who simply asks. You don't have to have a YouTube channel in order to minister to others while sheltering in place. My dad just started writing letters to inmates in a prison two states away from where he lives. Other people are intentionally connecting with friends on social media. Others are sending out inspirational text messages or systematically calling friends and loved ones to share Jesus with them. God wants us to be creators, not just consumers, to give to others what he has given to us. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine before men.